wasn't even a year, was it? They were supposed to be there for no. three years, I think. No, they were. They, yeah, they had three-year contract, chance to put away some serious money. They, they didn't think they were used well, but I'll tell you something that was happening then. Uh, they were, they were not uh, using any finishes where there were disqualifications, run-ins, things. They wanted a winner every night and if you watch Vince's program today you see they pretty much give you winners uh, and they avoid all that other stuff at that time they were doing that so uh, those boys had a real good contract they uh, they were making money and um, and so was I and uh, and I, I, I saw two guys that were wanted to be used better uh, but sometimes you know, when you're making real good money and you think you wait on that opportunity to be used better. And so I spoke to those guys about it. Um, uh, again, I use my old timer stuff. Hey boys, now you ain't listen so much. And uh, uh, probably the final night that we did business, I just loved Jock Ruggio. He's a, he's a close friend of mine. I used him in uh, my territory as a young boy when uh, it was, he was finding hard to get work and get along with guys that I thought he was great and I used him and I treated him well and I got my guys to treat him well. And so I had a background with Jock. But uh, Jock wanted to go talk to him and we were in Chicago about a finish uh, that they wanted him to put the, the Harlem Heat over in the middle again and Jock wasn't going to do it, and so I, I took him up in the top of the, uh, uh, what's the big building there, the basketball building? There. Huge. They had a big oh, center. United Center. United Center. We're up in the top of there, and, I, and I'd set him down, and I'd say, listen, Jock, you do not talk to the office tonight. This, this is a lot going on. I know. And I said, you don't go talk, you don't talk to the office. And, yeah, well, I'm not happy with it. It's not, a, it's not the night. Tonight's not the night. Don't do it. So, and so Pierre's there, and he says, no, don't. And Jock, listen to him. Listen to him. So I make Jock promise me that you won't go talk to the office. We'll just do this. We're going to do it. Tonight's important. We're going to do it. United Center sold out house. Don't mess with this. And... Uh, so uh, later on in the evening, um, uh, I, I see Pierre, I said, where's Jock? And he says, I don't know. I said, I haven't seen him in a while. Where is he? Gone. So, oh, he's in the room with the hierarchy, talking to him. Uh, two weeks later, we all get our notice. And I was in WCW for seven years. Now, I could have been with somebody else. And, and you know, but I had a good run. And he knows. And, uh, you know, after it was all over, I, 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 gave, him, I gave him a call. And I didn't run him over the grill for it. I just said, well, you know what? It happened and now it ain't happening no more. And he was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just wouldn't listen. I said, no, you didn't listen. And uh, here we are.